Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and today I have a follow-up video to an earlier video I posted on how to delete photos on your iPhone 5. And I actually wasn't going to do this video and I'll tell you why. Because a lot of the feedback I received on my original how to delete photos video was super, super negative. Um, I was, you know, I had done some research and I found out that one of the most searched terms for the iPhone was how to delete photos. Now, I didn't necessarily know what specific situation people were having trouble deleting photos in, so I, I published this video. You know, I know that all people are at different levels of their technological expertise, and I'm okay with that. I actually enjoy it because I like teaching people. So I published published this video on how to delete photos on your iPhone, and I got a lot of responses like, screw you, man, you suck, man, this video is horrible, blah, 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 and I'm like, you know, I told you guys how to delete photos on the iPhone 5, and I soon realized that people were having trouble deleting photos that they hadn't taken with their iPhone, but they, that they had actually uploaded from their computer, and they couldn't delete those photos. And I figured that out, but just to spite all of these rude commenters, I wasn't going to do the video. But I got a very nice email today from one of my viewers named Dave, and I got a lot of positive, constructive comments from a lot of you guys, a lot of my viewers in the comments section on that video. So I have decided to do a follow-up video. So here it is. And, and to be honest, this isn't for all of you people that posted negative comments. This is for all of the ones that posted the positive comments. Uh, so what happens is, is with your iPhone, if you upload some photos from your computer and you try and access them on your iPhone or you do access them on your iPhone, you're not going to have the option to delete them. So if you take a quick look here, I've got a couple of screenshots, but if I actually go to my iPhone and I access the photos section, you'll see I have all of these albums, and then I have one of them that's called Photo Booth at the bottom. And if I go into there and I click on the photo, no matter how many times I click on it, I do not have the trash can symbol. Now this was not a picture I took with my phone. This was a picture I took on photo booth on my computer with my Dunkin Donuts cup and yes I have no straw they forgot to give me a straw so I'm going strawless today you know it's a tough life what can I say uh, but I took this on my computer and I uploaded it to my phone and now that it's on my phone there's no way to delete it from my phone it's impossible now I can delete it using iTunes and that's what I'm going to show you how to do but you can't delete it from specifically your phone and you can search for a solution to do that as much as you want but it's just not possible however what you can do is you can plug your phone into your computer via USB and go ahead and open up iTunes so here I am in iTunes and you might have a different version of iTunes than I do so you know things might be a little bit different but for the most part it's pretty much the same process and what you can do is you can go ahead and click on the iPhone symbol for whatever your phone is so here's my iPhone Scylla Matrix yeah, I'm, I'm that geeky. And then go ahead and go to the Photos tab. And you'll notice that you probably have this checkbox checkmarked to sync photos from somewhere on your computer. Now, I have Photo Booth selected right now, but you probably have another folder. So now what you need to do, and unfortunately, it doesn't list all those photos in iTunes. I only have one photo, and that's my Dunkin' Donuts photo that I just showed you. But if I had 300 photos in this photo booth folder, it would say 300 photos, but they wouldn't all be listed here. So what I would need to do is I would need to go to this folder on my computer, this photo booth folder, which in this case, I could just go up here to Spotlight, and I could search photo booth, and I could go into this photo booth folder right here. I'll do it with you. And you can see that I've got one picture. That's my Dunkin' Donuts picture. Now, if I delete this out of this picture out of this folder, or if I move it out of this folder, and then go back into iTunes here and hit sync, it's going to resync with my phone, and that photo will no longer be on my phone. Now, maybe there are some pictures on your computer that you do want in your phone. Go ahead and move them into the folder. So what you could do is, like I said, I chose the photo booth folder, but I could choose a different folder. So I could create a folder on my desktop called iPhone Photos. And then I could put only the photos that I want on my iPhone in that folder. Come in here to iTunes, hit Choose Folder, and then go ahead to my desktop and find my iPhone Photos folder. Remember, only put the ones that you want on your phone in that folder, and if there are pictures in that folder that you don't want in that on your phone, 
take them out of the folder. And then you have to always remember to hit sync at the end. And I guarantee that will fix the problem for those of you who cannot delete certain photos off your iPhone. Again, there is no way to actually go with your iPhone, with your hands, and delete those photos. You have to do it through iTunes, but it will solve your problem. I really, really appreciate all of the positive and constructive feedback that some of you gave me on the first video. The negative feedback, yes, that almost made me not do this video to help you all out because I really do the do these videos to help everybody out and when I get such negative feedback like that it makes me not want to do them anymore. So I did the video. Um, I hope it helps. That's all I have for you today. If you have any constructive comments you can you can say my video sucked in a nice way by the way. That's okay. I like that. But please do it in a nice way. You know I don't need cussing and stuff. I have kids that are reading that are watching my YouTube channel so you know try and be constructive. Uh, but that's all I have for you today. Anson from AnsonAlex.com.